uh, I'm sorry, that's embarrassing and everything, but you know, let that be a lesson to you, because you think... <laughs> It is. You, you think nobody's watching you? Drop a like to this video if you're a fan of The Ellen Show. Hey there everyone, what's up and welcome back to another video on Film Slim. With close to 2,000 episodes, Ellen DeGeneres has interviewed many famous faces of the world. Ellen's witty and cheerful demeanor makes the show an interesting treat to watch, but we agree the show won't be the same without the guest. While some have become Alan's all-time favorites, some take it too far. Let us see seven of those moments today. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Alright, now let's begin. Number 7. Celine Dion When Celine appeared on The Ellen Show, Ellen could not help but ask Celine what was up with her son's hair. She conjectured that Celine has clearly been busy and that is why she forgot to cut her own son's hair. Well, this mama switched her defensive mode on and did not even flinch before asking, do you have a problem with that? She continued on explaining that she will do whatever suits her wishes because people, Red Ellen, are always going to have problems be it shaving off her child's hair or growing long locks. Well, we would ask Celine to simmer down a bit because those are honestly unusually long hair to see on a boy's head. Don't you guys agree? Alright, well it seems like you're busy with something because you're forgetting to cut your son's hair. Do you have a problem with that? Number 6. Giada De Laurentiis Oscar-winning and Food Network star chef Giada De Laurentiis attracted attention, but for all the wrong reasons this time. Giada thought she was having a ball of a time teaching Nicole and Ellen risotto balls, but Giada's unnecessarily awkward remarks just invited bewildered glances from Nicole. Mocking the guests' cooking skills, she even literally spat out the pizza saying, don't let my kids see I did that. As if the condescending statements and behavior was not enough, she continued to make inappropriate comments like Ellen's balls are falling apart. And it was not much later that Nicole had to remind her it is a family show. Nicole, have you made meatballs or anything? Just look. Go ahead. Oh boy. This is a family friendly show. Okay, so look. You Number 5. Jennifer Lawrence. After watching this highly awkward moment on the show, we can't decide whether Alan was more pissed at Jennifer being insensitive towards the LGBT community or her not knowing that she was owning a female cat all along. That is an odious crime if you call yourself a cat lady. When Alan was asking about Jennifer's new cat, Jennifer interjected little Shaz Bono while completely cutting Alan off. Needless to say, Alan was curious and so were we. She began explaining what was imminently going to be a disastrous, but she went ahead saying that how the cat was presumed to be a male given its masculine energy, and was even named Oliver until they discovered later that it was actually a female. For those of you who don't know, Shaz Bono is the transgender son of Sony Bono and Cher. But she's, she has such a masculine energy that right. everybody always says he. For the first right. week, I thought it was a boy. I named her Oliver. Like, she had a collar and Oliver and, like... Number 4. Wendy Williams The professional rivalry lingering in the room could not be missed when Alan called up Wendy Williams on the show. Nevertheless, the show was carried out professionally by Alan, but Wendy could not just stop being herself on multiple occasions. When Ellen first asked Wendy about her thoughts on Kane and Kim expecting a baby, she replied she's happy for them in the most uninterested yet judgmental way. When her PETA ad emerged, she took the opportunity to appreciate Ellen's veganism but her question, how can you live without pork? Wrecked of irony right, left and center. Also, how can we forget when she said Ellen resembled Justin Bieber? Yeah. And what are your thoughts on Kim and Kanye? Um, I mean, I'm happy for her. She wanted a baby. Um, um. Number 3. Kane West Never would have Alan wondered that she would take the back seat on her very own show. Well, who else could sabotage the show other than the unwavering Kane West, whose vehement speed just fell short of changing the world in the next five seconds, questioning whether Kane even regretted tweeting anything. He replied in affirmative. 
He actually regretted tweeting on Twitter, saying that he should have used Facebook as a medium to address Mark Zuckerberg asking for $1 billion funds. Who would have replied had Kane taken that road? While Kane told off his lofty plans to change the world and also jumped to shout, K's in the building, everybody dance. Ellen is only seen licking her lips in order to say something. At the end, Ellen could only summon her words and say, well, it's not daytime television anymore. Kane did apologize, but only for his realness. I'm sorry, daytime television. I'm sorry for the realness. Number 2. David Arquette When you switch on to watch The Ellen Show, entertainment is guaranteed. But it turns out that is not the case always because guests like David Arquette can turn up and turn a no-fail entertainer into a series of awkward dialogues, brimming with constant giggles, incoherent speech and weirdly pronounced movements this interview led to fans unite on Twitter. Fans questioned whether Arquid was being himself or was he just high. One even took the liberty to say that he was on some kind of a substance. David had sought treatment for alcohol abuse after separation from wife Courtney Cox, but had a relapse later. <laughs> no, we're not cutting that. Oh, please. People need to be, it's, it's an educational show. <laughs> Number 1. Nancy if you remember an audience member from the show in particular, it would be Nancy without a doubt, but for all the wrong reason. Yes, Nancy, the woman clad in a mustard top who was infamously sent to the Allen jail. After Allen instructed her guests to pick one of their favorite merchandise from the tables backstage, Nancy thought she could outwit Allen. Nancy tried fooling everybody as she kept circling the tables, picking more than one item. During the show, Ellen could not help but applaud the honesty of her audiences, but she had to single out Nancy to teach her a lesson. Nancy started making flimsy excuses that her sister could not turn up, so she took one extra for her, to which Ellen replied lots of people's sisters could not come. What's your My name? sister couldn't come, so... That was her souvenir. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Sorry. a lot of people's sisters couldn't come. Who took it too far in your opinion? Let us know. Well, this brings us to the end of our video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't liked the video yet, so it's never too late. Give it a thumbs up, people. We will see you soon in another video. Until then, take care and goodbye.